This is Mobile News Now on WPTZ.com. Sponsored by DeRocher. WPTZ News Channel 5's Allison Carey here. You've clicked on WPTZ.com and this is Mobile News Now. Burlington College's Board of Trustees announced it will begin a search for a new president to replace Christine Plunkett. Here's New Channel 5's Hannah McDonald with a preview of her upcoming Nightcast report. Coming up on Nightcast, Burlington College announces a new team will lead its campus after Christine Plunkett resigns as president. Michael Smith will take over as interim president, and Dr. Jane Nodell, a Burlington city councilor, will take over as interim provost. We'll have the latest on the college and where they're going from here tonight at 11. For now, I'm Hannah McDonald, WPTZ News Channel 5. Now, tensions continue to build between workers and management at Fairpoint. The communications company has about 1,700 workers serving customers in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Employees used a Labor Day parade in Portland to demand a return to the bargaining table. Four months of negotiations between the two sides broke down a few weeks ago, and now union members say that the company is looking to replace them with contract workers as well as outsourced jobs from New England. And with the battle over market basket over, the New England grocery store chain seems to be getting back to business. At the end of last week, the CEO, Arthur T. Demulis, bought the company, ending the dispute. The store started getting restocked and receiving shipments over the weekend, and the hope is to get the whole operation back up and running as soon as possible. A family squabble led to the firing of the CEO, and the workers rebelled against the decision, refusing to work or stock the shelves. The dispute lasted about six weeks. An armed robbery in Wallingford, Vermont, according to state police, around 11 o'clock last night, a cashier at Cumberland Farm Store on North Main Street made the 911 call. The employee described the assailants as two white men in their 20s, one of which had a large knife. Multiple troopers, as well as the Rutland City Police K-9 unit, searched the store and surrounding area. The investigation is ongoing, and police ask anyone with more information to call them at 802-773-9101. And Vermont State Police are also investigating vandalism of mailboxes. The tamper mailboxes are on at least four separate roads in the town of Putney. And the incidents were reported this morning and remain under investigation. And again, police say anyone with more information should call them at 802-254-2382. And some neighbors in Barrie say they are keeping an eye out for a serial arsonist in the Granite City. There were four, arsonists, or four arsons in August in Barrie. All of the buildings affected were either vacant or used for storage, and no one has been hurt. City police say they are increasing patrols, and a few neighbors say they are also keeping their eyes out for some of the areas that were burnt out just in case suspects return to finish the job. Now, most neighbors, though, say that they still feel pretty safe and are glad about the increased police presence. Well, it was really warm out there today. Temperatures not far from really 90 for some of us, believe it or not. Topped out at 87 in Burlington. We're in the warm sector here. It is going to be very humid tonight. Sticky night, tough sleeping night, and then a cold front on the way for tomorrow. And that cold front is going to change things because by the afternoon, pretty good shot for showers and thunderstorms. Some of these thunderstorms could be pretty strong. So first half of the day, we'll call it partly sunny. It is going to be humid. Temperatures well into the 80s again with that humidity. Showers and thunderstorms are here by the afternoon. Your full five-day forecast plus two coming up for you tonight on Nightcast. Well, thank you for taking a moment to click on Mobile News Now. I'm WPTZ News Channel 5's Allison Carey. For more news, I hope you'll join us tonight at 11 for WPTZ Nightcast.